Hey guys, welcome back to Midnight Violets and my 33 week pregnancy update with twins. Sorry that I missed last week's update, I know I usually do them on like the even numbers, 32 weeks. Um, but I was in hospital so not just gonna like bring out my camera and start recording a video whilst in hospital. Um, so you're probably wondering what's going on, I'm gonna start by saying I'm okay and the twins are okay so don't worry, um, but probably start from the beginning. So at 31 weeks I had a scan at the hospital, everything was fine, um, they looked at the babies, um, they were both measuring at about £3, £8, is that right? £3, £8? No, £3, 8 ounces. sorry my mind is a little bit like at the moment. Um, three pounds eight ounces, um, which is a good size, so no problems, everything fine. Went home, um, ate my lunch. After I had my lunch, I noticed that there was a small amount of bleeding. Um, so I called, sorry, I'm just gonna lean back. My ribs are getting really uncomfortable now um, because my bump is so big. Sitting up is not comfortable. Um, so I called the hospital, spoke to them, explained what was going on. They asked me to go in, so obviously I went in. Um, I spoke to them, spoke to the doctors. They actually, which was really quite scary at the time, didn't see me in the antenatal assessment part. They actually wanted me to go to the delivery suite to be seen. So I was a bit like, um, okay, what's going on here? Um, I think it might have just been because they were really busy. Anyway, so they saw me, the midwife hooked me up to, I don't know what the machine's called, but you know the one that like makes a trace of the baby's heartbeat and stuff? Um, they hooked me up to that so to check both babies and they also put the third kind of, I don't know what it's called, like you know the things that they strap onto your stomach? They put the third one on as well which um, measures contractions. They noticed I was having slight contractions um, or Braxton Hicks, they couldn't really quite work it out, they were calling them tightenings. Um, so they got a doctor in to see me. Um, the doctor examined me and noticed that I was two centimetres dilated. Um, so at that point I kind of panicked, I was like, oh my god, like my stomach's tightening and I was starting to kind of feel it by that point as well and I'm two centimetres dilated and oh my god I'm only 31 weeks pregnant. I was, I don't think I panicked too much, I think actually I was quite sensible about it. Um, the doctor actually looked at me and said, it's okay if you want to cry, you can cry. And I was like, no, it's okay. I'm okay. Um, so the first thing they did was put one of these, what are they called? Like a drip thing in my hand. And I have to say, oh, horrible experience. I didn't enjoy that. Um, and then they gave me the first set of these steroid injections. Um, so what that is, is um, if they think that a baby or babies are going to be born early they can give you a steroid injection to speed up the development of their lungs so that then if they are born early their lungs are a bit more developed so they stand a better chance of doing okay um so they gave me the first one of that and then they told me that i had to stay in um which i wasn't that happy about it but at the same time i knew that i was in the best place um so my husband went and got me some food I ate my food, he also brought in my hospital bag which I am so pleased I packed early. Um, so any of you out there that are thinking and putting it off, I would probably recommend packing it, not because I want you to go into the hospital or anything to happen, but I don't think I would have been as calm in a situation that I was without having my things together there with me if that makes sense. It does mean that I probably won't film a hospital bag video now though because it's kind of all messed up. I might just do like my toiletries and makeup. Yes, there was makeup in there. I didn't actually use it um, in my bag. If you want to see that, let me know because this is kind of like a beauty makeup kind of channel. Um, I'm getting so distracted here. Anyway, so I stayed in the hospital. I woke up the next morning and um, I still had the tightenings but they hadn't really come to anything. Um, nothing was really going anywhere so they told me to stay in bed I wasn't really allowed to walk around I wasn't really allowed to do anything um, so I kind of just slept and read all day and they kind of calmed down 
Um, my mum and my husband were both in there with me to kind of keep me company and sane. Um, and yeah, so I was in for four days. Um, it didn't really amount to anything, um, which is good. Um, I had my second steroid injection. They do uh, two different shots 24 hours apart. So I've had all that now. Sorry, my ribs. And then I saw the doctor on the fourth day or fifth day. I can't remember. Was it four days or four nights I stayed in for? I can't remember. Um, and the doctor came and saw me and kind of just looked at all that had gone on and said it was okay for me to go home because this was like a couple of days before Christmas and I was quite keen to be home for Christmas. I didn't really want to spend Christmas in hospital. Um, and he said I could go home but I had to rest. I couldn't really do too much um because they didn't want anything to come to anything um so since i've been home i've been really lazy to be honest with you my husband's really just been doing everything that's not to say that i've slept all day every day um been kind of pottering as ow just break my nail um pottering is probably the best way to put it um just nothing strenuous nothing tiring lots of naps um, and I'm still pregnant, which is good. There's still two babies in me. Um, aside from that whole incident, um, I have now got a huge amount of stretch marks on my stomach. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera because they're quite small ones, but they're kind of small ones everywhere. So I think if I'm still pregnant in a couple of weeks time, they're going to be quite something. Um, so I think my skin's just got to that point where it's like, I'm done now, all of the stretch marks are coming. And then mainly around my belly button, um, which I had four piercings through my belly button. So I think it's around like the scar tissue and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm a stretch mark mess on my stomach now. And I also think I've kind of hit a wall. I think there's a lot of factors in that. I think one of them was the going into hospital and the kind of the mindset that that puts you in. Um, and the fact that I can't really do a lot, so I can't just, go out and have fun. One, because the hospital told me not to really do anything too strenuous or too tiring, um, but also because I just, physically I just can't do it. I'm just so large now where walking across the room makes me out of breath. My hips hurt a lot, my back hurts a lot, my ribs. I never really, no one really complains about their ribs, but my ribs are so painful. Um, I spoke to the consultant about it. It's because my uterus is like creeping on top as well as underneath um, because it's so big and oh, it's so uncomfortable and there's babies four lots of babies legs like kicking in my ribs as well so that kind of adds to the pain and I find sitting up really really uncomfortable um, as you can see from like my leaning back and keep complaining so yeah I've kind of just hit a wall now with I know that the babies need to stay in there and that's the best place for them but I'm just so uncomfortable and drained and tired. I've not slept for more than an hour in months. And I know that's like good practice for having two newborn babies. But I was kind of hoping that I could not be in quite such an exhausted state when they came. One, because I have to deal with birth of two babies. And two, it's always better to start off better, if you know what I mean, instead of starting off exhausted. Um, but that's life and I don't really think there's a lot I can do about it. I think I'm going to try and make these updates weekly now because a lot is kind of going on and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be pregnant for. Hopefully a good few weeks. I'm hoping to get to like 35, 36 weeks if not a little bit more. Um, but I don't know how realistic that is seeing as I'm two centimetres dilated already. So I think that's probably all I've got to say today. I'm really sorry about the lack of videos recently, but hopefully this video kind of explains why for you. I've got some um, pre-recorded videos, which I'm hoping to edit and get uploaded for you in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for those. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to catch my future updates of what's going on with these two babies that are trying to escape from inside of me. Um, and I will speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.